Ezekiel, chapter 41. And he brings me into the temple, and he measures the posts, six cubits the breadth on this side, and six cubits the breadth on that side, the breadth of the tent. And the breadth of the opening is ten cubits, and the sides of the opening are five cubits on this side, and five cubits on that side. And he measures its length, forty cubits, and the breadth, twenty cubits. And he has gone inward, and measures the post of the opening, two cubits, and the opening, six cubits, and the breadth of the opening, seven cubits. And he measures its length, twenty cubits, and the breadth, twenty cubits, to the front of the temple. And he says to me, This is the Holy of Holies. And he measures the wall of the house, six cubits, and the breadth of the side chamber, four cubits, all around the house. And the side chambers are side chamber by side chamber, thirty-three times, and they are entering into the wall, which the house has for the side chambers all around, to be taken hold of, and they are not taken hold of by the wall of the house. And it has become wider when one has turned even higher toward the side chambers, for the encompassment of the house is even higher all around the house. Therefore, the breadth of the house goes upwards, and so the lower story goes up to the higher by the middle. And I have looked at the height all around the house, the foundations of the side chambers are the fullness of the reed, six cubits by the joining. The breadth of that wall of the side chamber at the outside is five cubits, and the space remaining of the side chambers, that of the house in between the chambers, is a breadth twenty cubits around the house, all around. And the opening of the side chamber is to the remaining space, one opening northward and one opening southward and the breadth of the remaining space is five cubits all around. As for the building that is at the front of the separate place at the corner westward, the breadth is seventy cubits, and the wall of the building is five cubits broad all around, and its length ninety cubits. And he has measured the house. The length is one hundred cubits, and the separate place and the building and its walls, the length is one hundred cubits. And the breadth of the front of the house and of the separate place eastward 100 cubits. And he has measured the length of the building to the front of the separate place that is at its back part, and its galleries on this side and on that side, 100 cubits. And the inner temple and the porches of the court, the thresholds and the narrow windows, and the galleries around the three of them, opposite the threshold, were paneled with wood all around. And the ground to the windows and the windows were covered over above the opening and to the inner house and at the outside, and by all the wall all around, inside and outside, by measurements. And it is made with cherubims and palm trees, and a palm tree is between cherub and cherub, and two faces are on the cherub, and the face of a man toward the palm tree on this side, and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on that side, is made to all the house all around. From the earth to above the opening, the cherubim and the palm trees were made, and on the wall of the temple. The doorpost of the temple is square, and of the front of the sanctuary. The appearance is as that appearance. Of the altar, the wood is three cubits in height, and its length two cubits, and its corners are to it, and its length and its walls are of wood. And he speaks to me. This is the table that is before Yahweh. And the table and the sanctuary had two doors, and the doors had two panels, two turning panels, two on one door and two panels on the other, and made on them, on the doors of the temple, are cherubim and palm trees, as are made on the walls, and a thickness of wood is at the front of the porch on the outside, and narrow windows and palm trees are on this side and on that side, at the sides of the porch and the side chambers of the house and the thick places.